Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I want to talk to you guys about iOS 14. And I am, I'm, I'm somewhat excited about it, but a lot of the features that are coming to iOS 14 are stuff that I've seen before on Android. It's almost as if, you know, Apple is just trying to kind of keep up. But in this video, I'm kind of going to go over to some of the things that I'm really excited about. And the first thing I'm really excited about is iMessage. Um, the one that the one thing that kind of stood out to me was the inline messages. Now I, I don't use group messages that much, but I think this is a really nice feature to kind of keep things simple. Um, some other features that uh, I seen at the keynote was the group messages, uh, where you can you know change the pictures for the messages and things of that sort. And then you can kind of pin the messages to the top. So messages that, I'm sorry, conversations that you've had in the past will show up at the top of the list of your messages or your threads. Um, other than that, um, that's pretty much it that kind of really stood out to me for uh, messages. The next thing that I was really excited about was the home screen and, of course, widgets. Widgets, again, something Android has had for some time. Um, but I'm really excited to see it come to iOS 14. And I will say it's just, it's about time. Um, I think this is a really nice feature that a lot of Android users have been having for quite some time, but now it is on iOS. And one thing that's kind of cool is your phone won't look like everyone else's iPhone now since you have the ability to use widgets uh, from Apple as well as from third-party uh, developers. Um, other cool thing I liked is app clips. I think this is kind of cool and it's really going to allow us to engage with things around us with app clips. I'm um, really ex excited to see what developers can do with this and different vendors who offer different products. Uh, particularly, I think this is going to be kind of cool when you know things start to open back up and you can use uh, app clips to engage with your environment. Other than that, uh, moving on home clip, um, excuse me, home clip, <laughs> home kit. Um, some updates coming there. Uh, looks like they're going to be opening this up to uh, other developers, so it's not going to stay in house. Um, the one thing I like is the ability where you can uh, integrate this with um, your Apple TV. I think this is kind of cool, you know, something like your doorbell rings, and you can see who was at your door uh, before coming to it right from your TV, which is kind of cool. One thing that also surprised me was they kind of partnered up with uh, Google with this one. So there's a very good chance that you'll be able to use, you know, uh, products from Google like Nest uh, and integrate that with uh, HomeKit, which uh, I think is a plus for um, for consumers. Um, and, you know, I think it just gives us uh, more um, options in terms of what we can choose from with the different security cameras and doorbells and things of that sort on the market. Uh, let's talk about Macintosh. Macintosh and the ARM processor. I think this is going to be really cool. Um, and it seems like they're going to be ditching Intel at some point, which is is, is uh, pretty sad. But um, I think uh, this is a, a move in the right direction. And, you know, I read somewhere where this is just going to make things a lot faster. So as a, you know, a YouTuber, I think when it comes to creating, um, when it comes to, you know, editing videos, Faster is always better Better when it comes to editing videos. Uh, but yeah, really excited about that. Watch your OS, um, sleep mode, pretty cool feature. Um, not sure how this is going to work, uh, how often you're going to need to charge your Apple Watch, but uh, sleep mode is coming to Watch your OS. Uh, Mac OS, Mac OS, get a new user interface. That's kind of cool. And it looks very, very similar to uh, iPad OS. Uh, which I um, which I really like the uh, user interface there. Other than that, I, iPad OS nothing to me really stood out um, in terms of you know things I'm really excited about. But um, yeah, iOS is getting some some slight updates that I just didn't pay attention enough to to know what it is. Um, iOS 14 um, picture in picture something I probably won't use um, since I just won't use it. I, I just don't see myself using it, but uh, it's kind of cool. Maybe someone else will use it. Um, 
question, but I will say I do like the idea of iOS 14 giving us a better way to organize our apps. Um, I think that's going to be kind of cool. Like many of you guys out there, myself, I have a lot of apps that I don't use, so I think it's going to be great in terms of staying organized with all your applications. Other than that, that's uh, iOS 14. I'm really excited to check it out. Can't wait for the public beta to come out. I normally don't update with version number one. Um, but, you know, once the public beta comes out, I'll, I'll you know put it on my device at some point. I would say it's probably going to be somewhat buggy. Um, normally the um, betas are somewhat buggy when they first come out. So just be careful if you're going to be updating. Otherwise, um, that's all I have for iOS 14. And I will uh, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.